won't stay with the one that's always bound. It's all for guessing. My force is so Hey, San Antonio, this is Rob for the Metalworks, and once again, we are out to support one of our favorite bands of all time. I have with me Mr. Tommy Victor of Prong, and we're back here at the White Rabbit. How you doing, Tommy? Hey, what's up, Rob? It's great to be back here. <laughs> this isn't the White Rabbit. This is uh, our temporal bus that we got for a couple of days. Uh, that's, uh, believe me, I don't think the bus that we're going to get is going to be anything like this. <laughs> this is posh. but uh, And, and it, it does seem that... Uh, Things are getting bigger and better for Prong. Last time uh, we spoke, there was a lot of uncertainty with different uh, subjects. Um, but let's talk about what's happened since that time. Tommy, first and foremost, tell me about the deal that you guys got with Locomotive Records. Well, it's a Spanish label, and uh, we, we got a two-record deal. We wanted to get something fast. They were really interested in doing something, so we just went for it. Uh, they agreed they wanted to do a live record first and then a studio record. So, you know, we're just going to bust it and then, uh, you know, take it from after that. So, uh, you know, it's not, it's, believe me, it's not epic records like that used to be. Uh, but, uh, hey, as long as we keep moving somehow, keep keep busy, I think that's the main thing, you know. So, uh, you know, we could have probably waited longer and got something else, but... Uh, uh, I think this live record needed to be done too, so because it's it has a lot of old stuff, and then it's got some some new, new a new song and some uh, versions from uh, Rude Awakenings because uh, we felt that record may have been a little bit overlooked. So uh, you know, uh, I, we're pretty happy with the way it came out, and then uh, do a studio after that. And let's go ahead and jump into the live record. Um, can you tell us first where was was it a mixture of, of different live so shows or just one straight show or and uh, how did you choose the songs for it and just a little bit about the the details of the record? We did we recorded three songs three three songs three shows, uh, Royal Oak Theater in Detroit, Grand Rapids and Chicago the Double Door, and. Uh, I think like maybe three songs wound up coming from the Double Door and the rest from the Royal Oak. None of the Grand Rapids uh, show got in on, on the record. And that's a good question, how we picked the songs. I think it was like the best versions and, you know, that, that was pretty much what we had. We were limited because we couldn't put more than 14 on there. So uh, it's, it's, a, it's an hour and six minutes. So, uh, you know, that's what we, get, we, we have in, on there. So it was... Uh, yeah, I think we, we eliminated, we had tests recorded, that didn't make it, uh, Out of This Misery didn't make it, and maybe another one, but for the most part it was like a complete show. And then there's a new track on the record too, right? Yeah, Initiation. It's the same song that we had up on our website as a demo song, and uh, it's just one of the songs that we started playing, so uh, we included that as well. Get some live music, some new music out there for the fans. Uh, who I know uh, surely will also be anticipating a, a whole new record from Prong. Can you talk a little bit? Have you guys started writing or or um, what's going on with that? Yeah, there's been a lot of writing going on uh, over the last several years, actually. So uh, we're pretty prepared. And uh, that that's really where, where we're going is, uh, you know, is, is a studio record. It's just it's taking time to get that going. So, uh, you know, that, that should be in April, I think that should come out. And uh, we're ready to go on that. We got uh, a decent amount of material, and uh, it's it's definitely coming together. It's just gonna be real simple, basic, no holds bar type of record. Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask. If you could give us a little flavor or forecast, because I know Tommy, I know you can do a lot of different things, you know, in in heavy music. But is this gonna be like more stripped down or real? Real? Is that what you meant? Yeah, I can elaborate. On it. Yeah, definitely stripped down. Nothing complicated. Uh, heavy. Dropping the tuning again, uh, just just real basic. I'm trying to keep everyone's everyone's parts are pretty solid. There's nothing. It's like a no-brainer. It, it's kind of like a a good like intelligent knucklehead record if there's a, such a thing. You know, it's just uh, it's thinking thinking boneheads or something. I don't know. It's like it, it's got it's got some intellect to it, but it's pretty much to the point and it's pretty heavy. I think the new stuff. Now there's a couple of ones that are a little spacey. But uh, for the most part, it's, it's, it, it goes back to, I think, uh, just really blocky riffs, just heavy riffs, big beats, and just like, you know, uh, decent hooks and in-your-face kind of vibe again. Well, it definitely uh, sounded great right now, the sound check, I'll okay. tell you that. And um, I think one uh, maybe thing that is attributed to um, 
uh, Prong being so tight and solid right now is the fact that I was just happy to see that uh, you guys still have Monty the band and this lineup is pretty much the same that we saw earlier in the year. Can you talk a little bit that about that? Because I know he does other things. Is is this pretty much the Prong lineup, the solid Prong lineup? Well, I hope. I mean, that's that's what we want to do. Uh, that's been my problem for the last four or five years. This is keeping guys around. You know, this is the only thing I do. But uh, you know, like Raven, we he was in for a little bit, and we were trying to get get him going, and then he got distracted, and then um, uh, Ted moved to Europe, and so it's been like this weird, you know, like getting people to continually stay in something that's like prong, you know, like that, you know, we don't sell a lot of records, or you know, we're not like, you know, we can't promise a whole lot of money. That's why Monty's been great. I mean, he he's been able to shuffle a couple of things and, and come out on the road and help us out. And, uh, you know, Dan and, and Brian, too, have pretty much uh, been shuffling a lot of stuff around and just to, to get out here on the road. So, uh, you know, I'm grateful for them to, to be able to do that. And I think that we continue to do it. I mean, you know, everyone's participating in the new material and the new record. So, uh, you know, th this unit has been going on for a while. It's just we've had guys going in and out. Like Monty we had, has his duration. We had his duration with Madonna. He's going to be doing that again. So that's why some of the pictures that are around are just a three-piece. You know, we don't know how long he's going to be able to to commit to doing prong. But uh, you know, I'm I'm just happy as long as he can do it, it'd be cool. You know, that goes for anybody. You know, it's it's uh, you know, we were almost joking around. Uh, I was doing an interview earlier, and I was like, oh, well, you know what? Without you, what would be going on? I mean, I, if I retired, they may be able to get somebody to replace me and sing and play guitar. I mean, you never know. No, I don't think so, Dobby. <laughs> there's some bands that don't have any original members around, right? I mean, like, I see there's some, some old bands that go out on tour and it's like, no original members. That would be funny, you know? It's like, I'll just watch, you know? Uh, and it's, it's great to see you in, in our hometown. Last time we did work, we were in Austin. And uh, tell me a little bit about the plans for the road. I know that uh, this is a, a good little trek. Yeah, no, we're just doing like 10 shows in the States. Then we're going to Europe is the main thing. Uh, again, you know, Locomotive is, is a European label, so the emphasis is definitely on Europe, and whatever comes out over here is going to come out after. That, that's their emphasis is over there. You know, and that's exactly how, how it started originally, was is we went over there, put our records there, and then sort of came over here and did okay. So we'll see what happens. And, and people know that uh, metal's pretty solid over there in Europe as far as phasing in and out, it never does. Uh, do you think proportionately Prong will do better in Europe? Yeah, I definitely think so, especially with the climate there now. It's been like in the last year, I don't mean weather, weather we know the floods, but, yeah, but uh, the, uh, we went over there like just in London recently, and I couldn't believe it. I mean, we, we, we suffered through the whole you know, electronic movement over there. Like five years, we couldn't do anything over there. It was like nothing. Now everyone's into rock in, in, uh, in, in London. That's the hip thing now, was like hard stuff. So it, it, the cycle starts again with that. So, you know, I mean, we could, we did that, and that spreads into Germany and the rest of Europe where, you know, like uh, people are into hard music. And uh, that's, that's the trend right now. So we're, we're right into that right now. Of course, that's gonna go away. So uh, I think me me uh, metal is in, is more stable in America, where there's a certain amount that it, it's always there, you know. Uh, uh, but it's probably gonna it's probably gonna grow a little bit over here too, because that's what happens. It gets big over there, and then then people want to be cool, and it'll be it'll be happening over here. You know, I, I think electronic music is gonna go down a little bit, you know. So. And, and Tommy, as we get near the end of this interview, I just want to ask a couple of things. Um, one, um, for shows like mine across the country, video is still something that we, we cling on to. If you have the opportunity, would you do a video for Prong, for, for the new record? Uh, if I had opportunity, sure. You know, I mean, I don't know what, if that's in the budget or whatever, you know, it's like... <laughs> well, well, that's, that's what, let me cut in a little bit and, and ask, because I know that there's some bands out there who say, we're not going to do a video unless we can spend like a hundred grand on it or something like that. I mean, would you be willing just to put out a video, not necessarily having to be a big production? Oh, absolutely. I, I wouldn't. I, I'm just the opposite. I, I wouldn't want to spend that much money. I mean, we've done that, been there and uh, had huge budgets for videos while we were on Epic and they got shown on MTV twice or whatever, if that. If that. So, uh, you know, I, I'd, rather, I'd rather have a cheapo, you know, so, do something that's cute, you know, that you know it's never going to get played on MTV, but, you know, for guys like you and, uh, you know, stores, whatever, maybe it'll be cool. Somebody with, you know, you don't, somebody with some brain, some ingenuity could direct a video with, with that will hell of a lot of money. I, I, it's like making a record, you know. So it's small ingenuity. It's some, there's got to be some creative people out there. Any last words, Tommy, for the people out there in San Antonio, man? Yeah, same deal. Uh, check out our website. 
www.prong-23.com. And it's great to be down here in Texas again. I mean, uh, great to have you have uh, the opportunity to see you again. Well, thank you, Tommy. Thank you. And thanks for sharing time with Rob's Metalworks tonight and San Antonio. Remember, the name is Tommy Victor and Prong, and they rock right here on Rob's Metalworks.